I offer my humble pranam at the lotus feet of Bhagavan Sri Sat Sai Baba. Welcome to video lecture on assembly language programming in 8085 microprocessor. In this, in this tutorial, I'm going to explain how to transfer data between uh, register and memory and memory registers. In another way, from microprocessor to memory and memory to microprocessor using indirect RC mode. In the previous uh, lecture, I explained how to transfer data between uh, uh, memory location by using direct RC mode. In this uh, lecture, I'm going to explain how to transfer data uh, between memory and microprocessor using indirect RC mode. So this is a program for that. Uh, write an assembly language program in 8084 microprocessor uh, to transfer data between registers and memory using indirect RC mode. Okay. Now this is the program for that. Just here I consider only uh, two locations means how to transfer data from 8850, 8851 to 8950 and 8955. Uh, here there will be instruction to load 16-bit data, 16-bit data, 16-bit address to a register pair here HL. Okay, here load immediately. LXA stands for load immediately to where to register pair. X stands for register pair. Load immediately to register pair. Which register pair? HL. Okay, HL. Therefore, once if you execute this particular uh, statement, uh, statement, what happens? That HL becomes that is HL. Uh, HL becomes what? 8850. 8850. That's the meaning of this. That is L stands for load. I stands for immediately to where to register pair. X stands for register pair. Which register pair? Here we have to mention the name of the register pair. Either it may be HL or it may be BC or it may be DE. Okay, that is the main meaning of this instruction. So if once you execute this particular instruction, it's going to load 8850 with a 16-bit address to where to reach to pair HL. Therefore, after this, HL becomes this. Then, in the same manner, we have another instruction, same thing, but instead of HL, we are going to load into DE. Therefore, load immediately to reach to pair, which is where DA. What information, which information that is 89508. Five is nothing but a 16-bit address. Therefore, this 16-bit address goes to register DA, register pair DA. Okay, D becomes 8950. Therefore, actually, basically, this uh, this is uh, uh, this indicates source index. Okay, this gives us a starting address of source. For this, we can call it a source index. Okay, source index. This calls a source index. In the same manner, if you go for this, uh, we are going to use D as a destination index. What's the meaning of this? This is destination index. Okay. This is destination index. Okay. Therefore, we are going to use HL for uh, HL as a source index. D as a destination index. Means it gives the starting address of source. This gives the starting address of destination. Therefore, I have to transfer data from 8850 to 8950. Then I have to increment the address of this location by as well as this location by one. Next, we have to transfer data from 8851 to 8951 using which mode? Indirect RC mode. Okay. Now move a comma m. What is the meaning of this? Move means transfer uh, from where? From memory to where? To register accumulator. Which memory? That address is given by HL. Okay. Once m comes in the operand. The address of the memory location must be given by HL pair. Therefore, here we don't have address. The address is not given by the instruction. That address is given by some other pointer called here HL. That's why it is called indirect RC mode. Therefore, what type of addressing mode this instruction uses? It uses indirect addressing mode. Okay. So, what is the meaning of this? Move means transfer data from memory to register accumulator. Okay, which memory that address is given by HL pair. What is the content of HL? HL contains 8850. Assume 8850 is the memory location. It contains some data. Let it be 11. In the same manner, 8851. 8851 contains, so let it be 22. Okay, so this is actually, this is your uh, input. Basically, this is your input. This is our input. Okay, now what we will do is we have to transfer this to where to the memory location uh, that is nothing but the output. 
your output. So here, what is the starting address of the destination? So let it be 8950. Uh, here, something is there. Essentially, by default, we have to transfer 88502 8950, then 88512 8951. Okay, now say so here, move a comma m means what transfer the content of memory from where transfer the content of memory location, which memory is that address given by this to fair HL. What is the content of HL 8850? Then it takes you to that memory location 8850. That location contains 11. Okay, before execution, you have to initialize this location. Then that location contains 11. Therefore, at this point, A becomes A becomes 11. A becomes 11. That's the meaning of this. Then, STXD means if you want to transfer data from memory to, uh, from register to memory, from microprocessor to memory, we have to go for this instruction. It's an indirect RC mode instruction. It's also indirect RC mode instruction. What's the meaning of this? Store the content of accumulator. To where? To memory location. Which memory? That address is given by this. That address is given by D. D means D raised to pair. Okay, once if you execute this instruction, it will transfer the content of accumulator to where? To memory. Which memory? That address is given by D pair. D raised to pair. What is the content of D? 8950. Then it takes you to 8950. Then it's going to write the content of accumulator which contains 11 to where? To the memory location, that is 8950. Okay, one data is transferred. Okay, next is INX H. So once if you execute this particular instruction, then it increments the content of HL. HL by what? HL by one. Therefore, now HL becomes 8851. 8851, it gives the address of next memory location. Increment, IN stand for increment, X stand for is to pair, which is to pair HL. We can use INX, H, INX, D, INX, B. You are not supposed to write HL. Okay, I have to write only higher order is to pair. That's all. Name of the higher order, register name. INX, IN stand for increment. X stands for is to pair. Increment is to pair. Which is to pair HL. By how much? By one. So what is the initial content of HL? 8850. Now 8850 becomes 8851. In the same manner, IN stands for increment, X stands for is to pair, which is pair D by how much? By you have to increment by one. Therefore, initially the content of D is 8950. 8950 becomes 8950 becomes what? 8950 becomes 8951. Okay, it gives address of next immediate data. Then repeat same thing. Okay, then move A comma M. Transfer data from memory to accumulator, which memory pointed by HL. Now, what is the current content of HL 8851? What is the content of 8851? 22. Therefore, here that is accumulator becomes 22. Accumulator becomes 22. Then store, store the content of accumulator. This is stand for store the content of accumulator to where? To the memory location. Which memory that address is given by DE pair? DE register pair it's a 16 bit register then it takes you to the uh, register da now d contains 8951 then it's going to write the content of accumulator into memory location which memory location 8950 therefore if you execute this instruction it will transfer the content of accumulator to the memory which memory pointed by d what is the value of d 8951 it takes you to 8951 there it's going to write the content of accumulator so then stop so this is the way of transferring data from memory to register, memory to register, and register to memory by using indirect addressing mode. What, what exactly the meaning of indirect addressing mode? Part of the instruction does not contains the address of the memory location. It does not use the address of the memory location. That address is given by some other register. Okay, reg register, therefore, if we use M, then address must be natural is to pair. Here I'm using D, therefore D contains the address of the memory location. So this is the way of transferring data between memory to register, register to memory by using indirect addressing mode. In the next video lecture, I'm going to explain how to transfer a block of data. So you're not supposed to use this method. If it is, uh, if the data are uh, less, like two data bytes or three data bytes, okay, fine. 
but uh, I'm going to ask you to transfer 100 data points or 200 data points or 1000 data points. If we try to use this method, then it requires a lot of instruction. Therefore, in the next video, I'm going to explain how to transfer blocks of data. Okay, the size of each block may be 10 bytes or 20 bytes, it may be anything. Now, I'm going to give the demo uh, for this particular uh, program. Okay, I'm going to enter the hexadecimal code into the uh, read write memory, then I'm going to execute. Okay, now here I'm going to enter this program starting from 8800, means 8000. Therefore, exam memory 8000, the starting address of the program. Then next, here 21, 21. So 21 is the uh, hexadecimal code for LXIH. Then next, that is 50, 50 is nothing but 50. Next, 88, 88. Next, 88. Next, uh, 11. Next, 50. Next, 89. Next, 70. Next, uh, 12. Next, 23. Next, uh, 13. Next, 7E. Next, uh, 12. Next, E. Have to press next. Okay. Then you can verify once again exam memory uh, 8000. 8000. Then here, uh, this is the code for LXI H. Then address is 8850. Have to enter first order byte, the next adder byte. Now, this is the hexadecimal code for LXI D. Then lower order address is 50, the adder address is 89. Then move A, comma M. Next instruction move A, comma M. The code for mu a comma m is 7e, then stxd, the code for stxd is 12, then inx h 23, inx d 13, inx h is 23, inx d is uh, uh, 13, 13, then once again 7e mu a comma m, then stxd 12, then stop here, okay. So this is the complete program to transfer two bytes of data. Now just in this case, we have considered only two bytes of data. So transferring two bytes of data starting from 89, 8850 to 8950. Okay. So this is completed. Go to exam memory, uh, 8850. What is the content? 00. Therefore type 11 here. Next. Then 22. Okay. Now this is your input. There is a source. Exam memory 8950. Then here, what happened? Uh, 0000. See after execution, here we have to get 11. Here we have to get Two, two. Okay, this is before execution. Then reset, go, starting address of the program that is 8000, execute. Sorry, that is go uh, 8000, the starting address of program, then execute. The program is executed. Exam memory 8950, 11, 22. Understood this? Understood this point? Therefore, you can give any data. Exam memory 8850, that is input. I'm putting 88, 88, and next, here 66. Next, reset, go, 8000, execute, exam memory, 8950, 88, 66. So this is the way of transferring data between uh, uh, two, uh, two memory location, between two memory location using indirect addressing mode, okay? So thanks for watching. If you have any doubts, you can write in a uh, comment section. Thank you.